Like, so when you don't get it, what do you do? What? How all the first thing? Oh, shut up. You did that. Shh. It's time for Let's Talk. Yep, we're back for another, another Wednesday. Wednesday, hopefully. Oh, you had a wonderful, wonderful week. Uh, thank you all for joining us for Let's Talk. I'm feeling a little hype this evening. I don't know why. I think because of my medication, but I'll be down in a little bit. But thank you all for joining us for uh, Let's Talk. Uh, I do have a quick announcement to make. If starting next week, and I'm uh, I'm looking really looking forward to this. I'll uh, have a new co-host. Uh, my partner in crime, my brother from another mother, Mr. Donnie Ellis, will be joining me as the co-host of Let's Talk. That's starting next Wednesday. I'm tell you, he is he is off the chain. If you think I'm bad, he's probably twice as bad. But um, he used to host a show down in Florida for about seven years. So I'm really looking forward uh, to that. For those of you who probably know the both both of us you go back in the day to uh gaspies we used to do a friday night down at gaspies where we had live comedy and yeah i'm gonna say it we had strippers and the whole nine yards and uh so um those of you who know us from back then he will be joining me starting next week but again thank you all for joining me this evening this should be a really great show. Uh, we'll have some things uh, to throw out there that some folks not going to like. I'm going to put a few folks on blast because some things happened to me this past week that I really didn't appreciate. So I'm going to just go ahead and get it off my chest while I can so that while the whole world is listening. So if you see these individuals, and yeah, I'm going to mention y'all by name. Let them know. But <laughs> at any rate, it's week two of the whole sh- of the shutdown of the federal government. And um, one thing is, look, why don't y'all just go ahead and let the folks go back to work, take a vote, stop being bullheaded, and get America back where it needs to be. The thing I can't understand, why are you going to send some people to work back to work and not pay them and let others stay home and not pay them, but in the end, Everybody's still going to end up getting their money. Damn it, just send everybody send everybody back to work. You're having some staying at home, some working. The ones that got to work, they frustrated because they working and not getting paid at this time. And then you got the ones just sitting home doing whatever the hell they want. Damn it, send them all back to work. But go ahead and get this vote done. Stop being bullheaded. <laughs> Cut the crap. Speak for yourself. What do you mean speak for yourself? Send me back to work. Oh, Lord, it was one of them. I'm not even in the country right now. I'm in Tahiti. Oh, okay. I forgot. <laughs> yeah. Um, the producer's calling in, by the way. He's, uh. No, I'm not calling in. I'm on, I'm on, I'm furloughed. Oh, he furloughed, so he's just around somewhere. I'm not even just doing here. His own. He just doing his own daggone thing. I'm on the radio via satellite. <laughs> oh, well, dang. <laughs> Must be nice. I'm sitting on the beach in Tahiti. But and I'm still going to get paid because they're going to give me my money back when I come back to work. Yeah, whatever. Now don't send me to work. Speak for yourself, damn it. Whatever. But for those of you, uh, hopefully all of you know, this month is Breast Cancer Aware- Awareness Month. Hopefully you know, all of you will get into the mood. Not some, Not get into the mood. But you know, but participate with something big. <laughs> you know what mood. I meant. I didn't mean get into the mood. What is that? You know, but um, when you do the exam, be aware of it. <laughs> Wear something pink. Show your support because I'm sure most of us have someone in our lives or have known someone who has had breast cancer, maybe a breast cancer survivor, or someone who may have passed away from breast cancer. But please do. Um, Support. I had uh, someone who was close to me with regards to work uh, who actually passed away three weeks ago from breast cancer. So I want to give a special shout out, give a shout out and uh, 
to her family. Hopefully you all are doing well. And if it's anything that you all need, I'm here for you. Uh, you know, our office is there uh, for you. And on that note, we're going to move on. Um, I understand you were still going on about this whole, what's up with you and this thing with with the uh, what you were discussing when I first came in here? Obamacare? Yeah. Why only, I was reading something, well, I heard it on the radio that I think as of yesterday there were only maybe 320 some people who mm. had registered. Is it more than that? Yeah, it is. It is. But you no, I'm talking about here in, here in Maryland, not nationwide. Yes, it is. It's more than that in Maryland. But you got to take a break real quick. All right, we're going to go to a break and uh, we'll be right back here on Let's Talk Real Talk. Time for a flashback. And see, I think that's part of the problem, too, that there is no conversation. There is no dialogue. It's just an assumption that because it's 2013, that's the way things are done. And I don't agree with that. But this was happening Which is before another reason why I'm probably single. Thir- two, before 2013, this has been going on since the dawn of time. This is mm-hmm. not something that has just been invented. I'm not saying that it has been invented, Denard. I'm just talking about general life principles. And that should be one that should be implemented. So do you think that has become too important now as far as when two two people trying to get to know each other, that that's like the 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 first thing? What, did you talk about sleeping with somebody? Yeah. You bring, wait a minute. No, saying I'm saying, do you think that has become too important initially? No, I'm not saying. No, I'm saying initially. When you initially meet someone. Do you think that that should be that has become too much of the initial conversation? Oh, well, girl, I think you so. know, not, because yeah. it's like you said, it's a physical attraction, right? No one, you know, they see the the female or the female sees the guy, like, mm-hmm. oh my god, he's so fine, and you know, she he sees her, yo, she fat as I don't know what. Well, I'm she trying was. to hit that, and so did the, you say the, that again? What I'm trying to hit that? Yeah. What do you want me to say it again for? Cause it just didn't sound right coming out your mouth. <laughs> Look, whatever. I'm just saying that that's how the conversation goes. I hang around guys, so I know exactly how they talk. Each and every Wednesday, live at 8 p.m. We're back right here on Let's Talk. Um, during the break, I made a conscious decision because I didn't think it would be appropriate because I know how I can go off that I wasn't going to call out those folks who... I thought about <laughs> calling out because I had some words that would have been a little too much even for the internet. So I decided to regroup, take a step back and say, you know what? They're not even worth it. So if y'all out there listening, you're not worth it. You're not worth my time. You're not worth this radio show. So keep it moving. Something that really struck me yesterday, I was looking at the news and uh, there were these uh, military servicemen that gotten killed over in Afghanistan, and the government wasn't, they weren't going to pay out their um, death benefits, nor were they going to pay for them, pay to bring them home. Me being a military, uh, military veteran, I was extremely I didn't hear about that appalled part. about that, because of this whole damn shutdown, because of the whole shutdown. No, I, I yeah, know they, they, they got they killed over and after home. Yeah. They were going to no. bring them home, but they just weren't going to pay out the death benefits. No, they weren't even going to pay to fly them home because the government shut down. Yeah. No, no, you're wrong. Sorry. <laughs> Bull. They did not have the damn money. They no, because they not already going bought someone home already before the decision had even been made. They Somebody bought one already person. here now. They bought one person, but right. these have been killed since the shutdown. There That's have been five. What I'm saying, no, it wasn't that they weren't going to bring them home. They weren't going to give them the death benefit to, for their family to travel anywhere. That's a hundred thousand dollars, right? That's their money, right? Why not give it to them? Because of y'all stupidity. No, that makes no, no. no, sense no I to get me. which I know. I see what you, your, your frustration is. Yes, give it to them. This none, none of this should. This should have happened. never happened. Exactly. This should have and never. They thought, Never have. For what I was hearing today, they thought with the new provisions to that plan, 
that the shutdown wouldn't have wouldn't have affected it. But a congressman had come out even before the shutdown occurred and had and brought that, that and it was said that, that 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 was it, going exactly. to happen. But they couldn't even. But you know, and then they want to stand up there and point fingers. Hey, as far as I'm I concerned, mean, but at that same point. time, at the same time, no one knew. Well, somebody dies every day, but no one knew that these four people were going to five five people. It was four um, soldiers and a and a marine. Right. I'm glad you clarified that. I'm glad you clarified that. There is a difference between a soldier and a marine. Yes, I'm a damn Marine Corps veteran, and I'm going to say it. (laughs) But no one knew that they were going to die. So after the shutdown happened, I mean, now they're working hard to get that you know get that remedied and. Thank goodness for that foundation that is going to pay out that money to them until the shutdown is is fixed. And anybody else that dies, the but this foundation is going to help me. out. It's an insurance policy that's paid for by those in the military, mm-hmm. which is handled through Prudential. Mm-hmm. What the hell the government got to do with it? Because the money got to come from somewhere. Prudential. That's who the policy is with. Is so, that for everybody though? Is every hmm. and so so that was my thing. I was like, well, wait a minute. What the hell? We got to wait for the damn government. But if you think damn, about it, if you think about it, uh, it I might get, be a fund that's funded through the Department of Defense. True, I agree, not I just agree. Prudential, because I can imagine. You know, we're in a state of war right now, and all those claims are going to be paid out through Prudential. That money has to come from somewhere. Okay, something just came through. Well, somebody just said they were said the last it was just on the news the last 17 military men and women they did not fly home mm. that's trifling that's beyond trifling they should send their ass over there first of all they sitting up there still going back and forth back and forth but so, yet they still so get paid the shut down, so th- let's clarify that though so mm-hmm. since the shutdown 17 people still have not been sh- so this, uh, 17 people more people have died since, yeah, it's been the, the since October first, right? But it's just hit the news with regards to these last five, the last five, right? Because Congress act like they didn't know until one of the families brought it to their mm-hmm. attention, and it hit the news and what have you. But I just think that is just that's disgrace. We're just supposed to be the the, the superpower mm-hmm. of quote unquote the world that we know of, and I'm sure. There's countries back there, they just sit back there just laughing their ass off. Is it the who, the congressman? No, I mean other countries. Oh, yeah. But we call ourselves the superpower. For what? We also call them the commander-in-chief. That means nothing. No, not really. Not. Yeah, you you pretty much right. I know they were supposed to, um, the... Democratic National Committee or whatever, they were convening in D.C. to try to work out something. Something still tells me he's going to bend when it comes to this whole national health care issue. And I wish they stopped calling it Obamacare. That's all you hear. Obama this, Obama that, Obama that. This is not is, about him. The thing is, it's not. even if he wanted to bend, the Senate's not. You're right. They're not. So that, that we're just going to be back in the same place again. And, and I don't think he's going to bend. I don't think he's going to bend. It's law. It's law three True. times over. Because it's, it was then went to the Supreme Court, remember? Mm-hmm. And it was deemed constitutional. Constitutional, right. So it, even if he wanted to, it, it and the people don't... I'm, I could see if everybody was on in, in an uproar, like bring back, take down affordable health care. Mm-hmm. You look like an idiot yelling that in the first place. <laughs> but here's my thing: why hasn't the news been pushing that more that this is affordable health care? I mean, in my opinion, they're the ones who put this whole thing out. Oh, this being about Obamacare mm-hmm. that make it look like it was all about him and so on and so forth. When it's not. This is about the people but of the thing this is, country. The thing is, because everybody was so proud that he was in office. So it became a label. So it, came, right, it, it became, became a label. A, a label. 
Right. So now when you look in your history books, he first I guarantee got elected, that's what it's going to be known as, Obamacare. Yeah. When he first got elected, everybody was so proud that he was in office, that he's, you know, he's going to be our commander in chief. He's mm -hmm. our, you know, this is the way to freedom or whatever. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> and now it's, you know, with his hands being tied, it, may, it now makes him look like a bad guy. But you got to remember, his hands are tied. Because we got these other two parties that keep him from making decisions. Keep you know, he's made his decision. That's the thing that I like. He's made his decision. Say, look, he's not going to give in. There's no concern. No, as far I'm talking as I'm about. Concerned, but see, this is not that's a decision. A de his decision that he had to make. But this is not a decision to keep the country moving. This is a decision that just locks us down. We're stuck. He but can't do you make blame him? Do you, so, no, you, I don't blame, do you I'm not blaming him at all. Him for that? I'm not blaming him at all. What okay. I'm saying is this is not a decision. This is not a decision that looks good on any side. And this is not, and a, this decision is not a decision he, he could you make unilaterally because the Senate is on his side and then the House is not. But what decision was there for him to make? Like you what say, I'm saying it's is, law. What I'm it saying was a is law. he's a as president. As far as I'm concerned, they don't want to abide by the law and hold the country Right, but that's not even an issue no more. They're not even talking Obamacare no more. They're not talking that no more. That just came back up today because of um, Boehner, but that has been a discussion not going, for the last seven days. He's not going to deviate days. from that. Well, he did. He did. He came back he said, on what, it today. We'll he tried, we'll try he would negotiate some, on other things, and then now what? he's back on that again because of all the turmoil with the cut it back from a year to six months. Because you remember, he, he was shooting for No, they want six weeks. Gale. He just wants six weeks. The, the, that's the thing. The sad part right. about it is Obama only wants six weeks. Open okay. the government. We can then start dis the discussion on getting a... But see, the problem is, since he's been elected for the second term, there hasn't been a formal budget. No. No budget has been passed. Now, how do you run a country, a country let alone a company, without passing a budget? They've been shitting on him since he's been in there. Yes. That's just my so that's what I'm saying. Since 2011, been there has on not him been a congressional been budget passed. So why are y'all still being paid? Because everything is out of order now. Because who's where is that line? Oh, trust me. It's provisions in there. They're going to get paid. No, that's what I'm, what I'm saying. Which is, is there's no budget... You're just blowing, you're blowing money, blowing, right. blowing, you just pushing money out the, the door. There's no rule, no ruler that's cutting you off. Like, oh, we can't spend no more because we're going to go over budget. Because he black. <laughs> that's just my sentiments exactly. That's my right. Problem, that's one of the main reasons is, they are treating him like that. Well, no, because it, <sighs> it's still no. See, we we're not even. So you're get saying into it's this, because this. the Republicans say he's black because there are white people in the Senate too. That are for with uh, with his ruling. Yeah. So what? But who, I'm looking at who, because the who's saying he's black? Those old time Republicans that just still can't get right. But see, in I, their no, system. I just wanted you to say who you were talking about oh, because the there are white people on the Senate and side too. And here's the so thing: you can't just call it a race I was a, thing. I'm not going to even tell you. I, I was a Republican at one time. Ew. you got to go. To I was, <laughs> 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 and I'm, we're gonna come back, and I'm gonna get into that. But yes, I'm, I'm, we're gonna take a quick break, and we'll be right back here on Let's Talk. I can't believe you missed this on Talk Lately. Oh. I wonder, because I'm going to pick up the copy of this. The Cosmo. Uh, the phone call, here's what she said. The phone call um, this April ended the mystery. He left a message on Sunday saying, I have something important to talk about. Please call me back. I was working and called the next morning. He uttered an eerily familiar phrase, you may want to sit down. Then he said, Carolyn, I'm gay. She says, I was stunned. I managed to say after a silent moment and then a deep breath, I had no idea. I'm sure a huge weight is off your shoulders. During all those years I had known I had known him, I never would have guessed that he would come out as gay. We talked again briefly that night. He answered a few questions. <laughs> I don't know what those questions was. Are you a bottom? <laughs> That was uncalled for. That was uncalled for. Sorry. <laughs> Seven foot bottom. Um. <laughs> <laughs> it goes down just like that. Each and every Tuesday and Thursday at 7 p.m. right here on BeExposedRadio.com. I think I jumped the gun there. <laughs> Thank you all for joining us. For those of you who are just twinning, uh, twinning in. Woo! 
Tuning in to Let's Talk, you can uh, give us a call at one eight five five eight three five five eight five seven 835 5857 or at extension, extension one. 1, or you can hit us up on Facebook on Let's Talk. Well, we were really getting into this whole conversation of uh, national health care, as I like to call it. Everybody else want to call it Obamacare. Or the uh, Affordable Care Act. Affordable Care Act, national health care, health care for every damn body, however you want to call it, that's what it is. <laughs> and before we went off the air, well, we took a break. Uh, Mr. Producer over here was going on a rant. Was I going on a rant? Damn. About, um, yeah, you do that at least once a week. <laughs> I'm going to give you, you do that at least uh, once a week. Maybe it had to do with this whole, about the republic. oh, what it was when I said that I was a Republican at one time, and yes, oh, yeah. I was. You did leave us with And then, you. um, when this great senator was coming out of, uh, Chicago, and I took a liking to him, what he was about, what he stood for, you know, I t- decided to change my party, uh, affiliation. It's been an okay ride. In my opinion, like I said, they just, I've never in my lifetime seen them treat a president like this, which I just think is a disgrace to America as a whole. I said it last week, and I will keep repeating it as long as I walk the face of well, this earth. I, I, you said that last week, too. I know. But I think it's because we also are experiencing a divided government. Do you think, let me ask you this. Where the Senate is controlled by the Democrats and the House is controlled by the Republicans. But do you, so, go ahead. And now we have a majority rule state. But it's I don't, typically, regardless of what president is in there, it's that way. But I've never seen the Republicans be so. No, not really, because about. it's usually, it's not usually that way. Because usually when a Republican president is in office, usually his party rules. If you think about it, when Bill when Bill Clinton was in there, right, his it was party, the same way. The Democrats right. ruled, right, and everything was going smoothly. But this, this is kind of the first time it's yeah. been sort of a. Uh, the Senate is ran by the Democrats, and the, Repu- and the House is ran by the Republicans. It's a split government. So even you know, and it's still a majority rule. Now it's a majority rule state. If they don't agree with right. us, they can veto the, That's how it is. the bill. That's true. I just say get rid of the parties. I'd rather have a king at this damn point. You know what? Someone, um, one of my coworkers mentioned that, said that he would have, he would rather at this point have a, was it a dictatorship. parliamentary, mm-hmm. military government or what I, have you? I, you know what? They can say, you know what? The hell with y'all. Bring Queen Elizabeth over here. No, don't bring this. I'm a little too old for me. <laughs> She already she on my she a little she the, she but she coming around on a lot of issues. I mean she don't run anything over there because she's the prime minister. But she coming she came around on a lot of issues. She needed to whole oh, ass. <laughs> she allowed her son to get the when she looked at but wait a minute when she looked at them two little her two little crazy ass uh, grandsons that was coming out with this new generation they was mm-hmm. especially that youngest one he was just he just buck wild now he talking about getting married. Mm-hmm. The same thing I said. <laughs> mm, you still want to hang out at the stripper clubs? I think I would prefer to have a king at this point, a king or a queen. Yeah, well, that, I, mean, I, I just know. think I just think we need to like rethink. Just get rid. You know what I don't like? Also, this. I think there should be term limits mm-hmm. on how long you should be able to serve in Congress. Do your that six too. years or do too. two terms, then your old ass need to go. Some of these people have been in there since what? The seventies? Mm-hmm. The sixties. But they 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 do have terms, don't they? I no. They, I thought they had to get reelected at some point in time. Right. Reelectable. But what I'm saying is my thing is after two terms, your ass can't run no more. Um, go sit your old ass down, write a think, book, uh, get you a library. I think because of whatever this, <laughs> you I think do. because of this. A lot of that might change. Yeah, because if I'm, not, because a lot of them still have that old. I think forty-five percent of the people that are in office now will not be in office on the next run. Yeah, but because the polls 
are stupid ridiculous, like twelve percent and stuff like that. You know, and I don't, are don't, I don't think they of the Republican Party realize that it's like hurting that. their own. Same people. thing on the Democrat side. I think a lot of people mm-hmm. that's gonna. I mean, I don't know because yeah. I don't think it's gonna hurt the Democrats as much. No, not as much. I think but we're going to whatever hope. whoever goes into office. If it's a Republican that goes into office, or if it's a Democrat goes into office, I think the Democrats are going to have a big sweep, and they're going to control Congress. But we're going to still be in a stalemate again still, right. because the president might be a Republican. If y'all mm. vote a Republican in office, I hope you don't. But that's just me. I don't know if any that's out there that I haven't even heard any names as far. Well, actually, on either side, as far as who may. Well, I think Except for Hillary. I was going to say, I know Hillary's Except for probably going to run. Nah, I, I, I Hillary, that's my girl. Run, that's man. my girl. She can get over her man and they But I think she's going to have the same issues. If the Republicans still run the House, she's going to fall for the same, same issues. Because they hate her. They yeah. hate her. They, they, made, they made no secret of it. They but hate maybe her. maybe because with this going on, a lot of the Republicans who currently serve... They would not allow not her to sweep that elected. Benghazi situation under the carpet. They would not That's allow true. her to do that. They kept true. calling her on the carpet, and she kept cussing them out. And I That's what I like about She cursed them out. <laughs> them in their face. Every last minute of that conference, every time she went in there, she was like, look, I'm not going to keep being... I'm not going to keep coming right, here. Right, I ain't coming to keep talking about this <laughs> bullshit. Excuse me, it ain't BS, but you know what? Y'all keep bringing me in here for the right. same... Ask me the same <laughs> stupid-ass question. <laughs> And I'm going to give you the same right. answer. So I'm not going to keep answering this one question over and over again. Right. And she loved that finger. <laughs> that, yeah. She was the best but it would, I would be, it would be good to see her. Uh, mm-hmm. To see her run. Because I really don't that, see you anybody knew she else. Going, you got to know she was going to run. That's why she didn't run for, you know, Secretary of Secretary State. Secretary of State, right. For the she second decided. term. Because he liked sense. her as Secretary of State. Mm-hmm. But I think he was like, okay, what's best for my party? For her to step back right now. For to right step now. back now. Put, get, her, get the word out, get, yeah. Exactly. Get her, and then I'll come get on her. Get her old ass health in order. Mm-hmm. And then I, he'll be like, I'll support her when she picks up the ticket. You know who'd be your vice? Who? O'Malley. I think he, yeah. Uh, yeah, if he doesn't run on his, I know he's going to run on his own. I do know that. He shouldn't do it now. Huh? He shouldn't do it this first, this next go round. Why? Ain't no God way in the Lord's name, excuse me, Lord, he would be able to beat Hillary for the nomination. There is no well, way. Well, no, he can run, and then once she gets the nomination, because the nomination is not going to come out until, what? I wouldn't 20, do that. Early, um, late I just, 2015? I, I just ride on her coattail for the next eight years. Um, next no. four or eight years. No, because I'm not. Not unless he takes out uh, Barbara McCulsey's spot. Make him, that's going to take him out of the running for me, because he's going to be too old. But I think he should take. I'm not if going. He doesn't do that. Hillary, I think he should I'm step only in going and for take, Hillary. I'm actually only going for Hillary because she's a woman, and I think a woman deserves a chance mm-hmm. at this point. Um, that's the only reason why I'm going for Hillary. But and, and besides, she's a Democrat. But she's out of my age bracket. She she does will, not. See but me. think about this. As I stated before, that's why there should be time, um, term limits because most of them sitting up there. No, yeah, or but not I'm even talking about as president, though, she's out of my age bracket. I'm only giving doing her because I'm, I want to give a woman a chance. But if they had a 34-year-old woman running for president, she has my vote. Forget about Hillary. She's in my age bracket. I want somebody that's going to work for me. If we're supposed to be the future and everybody younger than me is going to be the future... <sighs> I ain't looking for no 50-year-old to be telling me oh, what to no, do. I'm looking at y'all generation shit. Y'all ain't no better than that. We got more money than y'all. I don't give a damn. <laughs> I don't care. Y'all and, minds not and right. And we going to have y'all money when y'all I die. Thought, I thought our minds wasn't right, but Lord. Woo! Yeah, but we having fun. That's the thing. That's the we, damn point. We doing what we supposed doing, to be doing. having parties up in the damn White House. We doing what we supposed to be doing at this point and, lawn, lawn and picnics. learning stuff. Inviting the neighborhood, the east side neighborhood. <laughs> Lord Joe and them. Who? Be up with Lord Joe. <laughs> <laughs> to the lawn party. You in the wrong place because I don't live in the hood. <laughs> That's not uh, me. You talk about the, um, you talk about the projects, and I'm not even from there. Ain't nothing wrong with the project. <laughs> I'm not from there. Your president came from the project. And look where we at. Oh, 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 whoa, oh, oh, oh. Back up. Back up. I take Hey. Hey. Whoa. Stop. Freeze. Freeze. That's an insult to me. Damn it. 
That's an insult to me. That's an insult take, to you me. You can't take the streets everywhere you go. But come guess on. what? You know what? Sometimes the damn streets do come in handy. I can throw on my damn suit, mm-hmm. put on my suspenders, put on my white socks and shoes, <laughs> and act like them. But damn it, when they step out line, <laughs> suspenders coming off. And that might be my the problem. Pants Maybe drop that down he didn't, to my, drop he didn't pull the streets out yet. Hey. He didn't pull them out and put them on display. I He's still trying to play to in, their, in, their, in their game. Once this is all over, but see, he, he can't, step on that it's helicopter. It's not too much he can do, but I told you, December 1st. Dude, we already said December, December 1st. 1st. The, the, hey, yeah, we, that's his time to shine. That's right. You better tell come all, out there. Walk up to the podium with a robe on. It's some flip-flops. With a... And go back to smoking his damn cigarettes. And when they take that picture for his 44th, uh, when he becomes, there you, you know, go. And they put him on a little um, thing around the um, White House and his as the 44th president, he better have a cigar and his robe on with a white tee. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead, Mr. Prez. Oh, That's gosh, you got to go to break. Oh, All right, we go. We're going to take a break and we'll be right back. A three minute break and we'll be right back. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, it's time for a flashback. I'm glad I've been um, so selective about people I've been with. Well, you haven't been selective enough. I'm going to be finished with this because now it's starting to get fun. Yeah, it's getting, it's getting bangy time. All right. All right. I, I think I should just clear it up. Uh, one more. Uh, one of my friends said, assuming this was consensual. Oh, no. I'm sorry. Consu- <laughs> Let's see. It's getting funny. Assuming this was the consequence because I've well been around the block to use the cliche. But no, I explained to her anyone can contract it. Even the most careful, even those who haven't had sex. Now that's what I was talking about when you when she's saying even yeah. those that haven't had sex, the makeup brushes that you be sharing sometimes with your home girl, like, oh, your home girl just mm. come on, let's do a commercial. <laughs> you do all the disclaimers, and I'm gonna do the egg. I'm gonna egg. Come on, you do it. Disclaimer. Give them all the reasons. Okay, why. doing all of the sharing the uh, makeup brushes with your oh, home girl. Gloss is kind. Yes. Uh, Using the same washcloth. Nasty. Girl, we just getting in the pool, girl. <laughs> Wearing the same bathing suit bottom. Oh, that is high. You got that for Forever 21. Let me hold that for the white party. <laughs> Sharing that nasty, dirty bra that you threw on the floor, but she didn't have any when she that's, came over to stay that night. That's Vicky's secrets, girl. I'm going to put this. He is going to be living. <laughs> Putting on her contact lenses. Oh, I got green eyes because I'm being Barbie. I'm being Nicki Minaj for Halloween. All new talk lately is every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday at 7 p.m. Right here on BeExposedRadio.com. Okay. We're back here on uh, Let's Talk. Hopefully you've enjoyed the show thus far. We have a... About another 15 minutes um, remaining, and we're to move on to something a little more, uh, something that I read. Some people, I don't know. Well, shit, it was funny to me. <laughs> and it had to do with this whole, what's this woman's name? Ann Coulter. She's um, a political a um, political asshole, if you ask me. <laughs> That's what... She is, and I know she's she always she's all she's just constantly has some has had something to say when regards to the Democratic Party, in regards to the president. She's blaming this whole thing on the Democrats, and the news media keeps. What well, she was at on Fox News because that's usually what she yeah. is. Yeah, yeah, you know how Fox News is. Mm-hmm. They Republicans, know. right? All you know, them. and she and it's they, surprising because it's Fox. You don't think of the Fox brand mm-hmm. as Republican. Mm-hmm. Please don't Fox Television. Yeah, because wasn't Fox show. really the only TV station that would show the black uh, right the exactly in, in, back in the day? Really? Yes. Yeah, yeah, that was the only station. That's where different strokes was. Yeah, at. that was the only station that really would show, <laughs> and it changed shows it, that featured African Americans. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and they, it changed. I, yeah, the it news, changed right the, around the, when Bill Clinton news segment of when Bill Clinton mm-hmm. was off. It's it ran about that time. That's mm-hmm. when it changed, and all the cartoons went away. Yep, an old Ann Coulter. <laughs> she, uh, well, yeah, that's true. You don't even. No see No cartoons that. come on anymore for the kids on regular television. That's Nobody loves the kids. 
Shit, they not looking at car- if they want to look at cartoons, they can pull out their iPhones. And they can get on Cartoon Network. But I'm just saying, you used to have a two-hour period from 3 o'clock to 5 o'clock of nothing but cartoons. I know, because I was a DuckTales watcher. (laughs) (laughs) Jeez. (laughs) Oh, she was on, um, what's the guy? Sean Hannity's show. Mm. And she basically gave the GOP a pass for the shutdown, basically saying this is 100% the fault of the Democrats. Mm-hmm. She would. She would. And she that. would do that. I mean, she's. But that's all she ever. That's talks. all. Right. You know. And if you listen, and kiss my ass. Right. <laughs> and I mean that. I'd like to sit down with you one on one, and we could go ahead. Oh, I love that. Mm, but yeah, she she was at it again. Basically, she joined Sean Hannity Thursday I think night. I, would have her, I, I, I think I would have her ass tongue tied. She said it's a politically motivated government shutdown on the part of. President Obama. This is 100% political. Who's, he's doing this to punish people so he can blame Republicans when it is 100% the Democrats. Picking up where Hannity left off in his previous segment, of course, she said the entire fight has come down to whether Democrats will agree to live under Obamacare like the rest of America. Coulter explained why she was for a government shutdown to achieve this goal in 2013. When she was against it back when Newt Gingrich was leading the charge against President Bill Clinton. Most importantly, she said, conservative now own part of the media landscape. Well, I'm sure they do. There was no Fox News in 1995. She said, nobody was on the internet. Talk See, radio. No Fox News in 1995. And Didn't I say that was Bill Clinton mm-hmm. when they came about? Mm hmm. Yeah, it wasn't until then. Mm hmm. Because they needed something, because all of the other stations. Well, they got rid As of the cartoons. That's when the cartoons <laughs> went away. It's a Republican world, baby. Who did, I mean, <laughs> but I blame the news media for putting this woman out there. And she has made so much damn money. She, I don't know who works, her or what's the other clown with the head? That I mean, but go, she flip, made, she made her money from doing her appearances. So as long as she's on Fox News, she's getting paid. She's a male version, a female version of... What's the guy that's a quote unquote billionaire? Robert Downey Jr.? No. Oh, the sorry. one that has to show The Apprentice. He's dead. Rest in peace. The Apprentice. Donald Trump? Don, she, yeah, she's a, a female, a white female version. She ain't that rich. No, as far as her mouth and having uh, something to say when it comes to politics mm-hmm. to, you know, to make some money. But see, I don't, I don't think she's Donald Trump because Donald Trump sometimes puts his foot in his mouth. Well, she does He's, too. No, she says stuff because she wants to say it. Donald Trump sometimes lets slip, slip out of his mouth. And then, well, and then, a lot not Donald that he backtracks on what he says, oh, but he does. He, his stuff creates storm. He says stuff for uh, for people to say something back to him, right? Basically. Like this whole birth certificate, exactly. Thing that's been dragging on for years. Hey, and that's years what he does. He's just a, he's a blowhard. Where she is he doing stuff does blow because hard. this is her job. She's doing this because she goes on there because she wants to. <laughs> I just think they need to put something in her mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Lord Jesus. <laughs> Woo. I y'all, hope y'all didn't hear that. I'm not going to repeat it. I'm not going to repeat. But she probably does. That, I think that's one of her problems. I think it is too. I think she's a lesbian, borderline. I'm going to leave that alone. <laughs> I don't know nothing about Ann Coulter. I don't know nothing about your personal life, and I care not to know. But sometimes I just wish you, wish you would just sit I mean, back man would want and that. just shut your mouth. It's, hey, All she there's do somebody... Sit all she do is everybody. sit in bed. Every time my man come over, she sit in bed. She want to tell him her political views. That's somebody that's boring in bed. And somebody be like, would you shut, shut up? That is one chick that just loves missionary. And Look, so there boring. you go with this again. I knew so at some boring. point during the course of this show, something sexual was going to be said. I knew it. That's I why she's single. It. But she's single. Realize her ass needs to stay single. She's single at like forty something. She's single and crazy. Wrong. She's single and crazy. She needs some medicine. But that's not a Republican. Republicans aren't single. When the last Republican you seen that was single and not married? A lot the younger ones. You a lot of but the they're younger young, ones. But right. Young. That's what I'm saying. She's not young. She's over forty. She's old. Think about this. As you stated, she's one of those you would have to sit up there and constantly listen Where's to her, her kids? talk. 
politics all the time. She She's no not kids. worried about kids. She but could see, give her less the, that's not the Republican damn kids. Life. The she Republicans got her toys that help her out in the gross. evening. Gross. She don't need all that nonsense. Gross. Can you imagine what comes on that? Um, oh, my God. Leave it alone. Gross. Oh, my gosh. All the dust that's on them toys. I can't. <laughs> Right, moving right along, boy. I t- she used to, she told you them toys that got they on a schedule. Every three months, she gonna use a toy. <laughs> three months, Jeez, it's so dry bro. down there. Well, folks, uh, this has been real. Hopefully, this time next week, which I'm gonna keep my fingers crossed. I'm gonna say some prayers, like I always do. That all this will come to an end. Folks can get back to work. Folks can get paid. The holidays are coming up. We don't want folks out there zapping out. You're going to have folks that's making six figures, going to be in Kmart stealing. I don't want to see all that. <laughs> so we want our folks to get <laughs> want our folks to get back to work so they can get back into a daily routine. But the thing that gets me is they don't realize the longer they're out, though they're going to be get paid in the end, your shit's still going to be backed up. But they're going to get unemployment. They can get unemployment. That's a whole but they nother. They got to find some damn money. They can get unemployment. That's a whole nother. That's a whole nother animal in itself. Like I said, I hope, hopefully by this time next week, if not sooner, all of this will be cleared I, up, I'm taken still in care the of. Boat. That I hope you know, I, I just hope, hope it's the re- Republicans stop every I don't want damn the, day coming I'm, I'm with these nickel I think and I'm penny on the same boat where bills. I don't want any more short fixes. I'm right. sick of it. We need a long term fix instead because of every day. Argument, if, been, uh, if you're going to have the same argument in six more weeks, it's not benefiting nobody. You it's can, not. You just it defeats the us. whole purpose. You, you, it's defeating, defeating the, the whole purpose. purpose. You, right now, we know we're near Christmas. We got two more months till Christmas. In six weeks, we're going to You know, some people start buying gifts now. Right. But when you get closer to Christmas, you start. You got Black Friday that's gonna be coming up. I say we all go start stealing. <laughs> Y'all didn't hear that. I had to whisper in there. We should have. What do they but call it the when big, they bring out a Black puts- Friday is the biggest shopping day of the year. And if they are in six weeks, we will be at that point of Black Friday. I say we get get that close I'm not to Black mad. Friday. I'm not mad if they continue to have this shutdown on Black Friday. That means I'll be out of there quicker when I'm we, in line at midnight. If, if on we Black get a Friday. week or two before Black Friday, I think we all need somebody need to put on Facebook that we're gonna have a what's that they put on Facebook or whatever when they just put something out there and everybody just show up. A flash party. A flash party, and we just go flash to DC. Mall. Go up to DC and rob all they asses. I'm not doing that. Catch them when they come out. Catch them when they coming out the door. I'm not doing that because the police <laughs> have not been furloughed. I'm not going. <laughs> <laughs> the police have not been furloughed, and I can see them out there now with them hard hats and them shields over their faces with them shields and and battering rams going this. Boom, boom, boom. All right, this ain't the damn sixties. <laughs> they did that recently. Oh, you talking they about that, that woman? I don't want to talk LA. about that. See, that, that, I was going to bring that up when I said I, I'm going to just no, leave that No, that's alone. not just in the 60s. With they that, still do that. That's the, like um, a warning sign. Hit that shield. We can break clob of your ass. <laughs> Keep it up. Steal a bike. I dare you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. Boy. Where you going? You going to that well, Walmart? Folks, okay. We got about two minutes, but again, uh, I said starting next week, we have a new co-host, Mr. Donnie Ellis, my uh, brother from another mother. Mother, Lord, what is wrong with my speech this, this evening? My brother from another mother, but as far as I'm concerned, we we brothers, regardless of how you want to look at it. We fight, we argue, or what have you, but he's going to bring a lot of excitement uh, to the show, as I stated. You know, if you think my mouth is bad, he... <sighs> You got to get ready for him. But he'll be uh, joining us next week. And he has a lot your of. Mike, all the way in your eyelids. You, you take <laughs> your eyes. <laughs> all right. I'm a little tired right there. It's been a long. I don't know what it's been about these last couple of days. It's like shh, just been out of it. I'm finding myself going to sleep at like seven o'clock. I was just telling her that on my show earlier. Like, like is it the, because the weather is changing? This is not cool. I think it is because it's getting darker sooner too. Yeah. Man. So your time, you know, and but the time is getting ready to be. And then I wish they go back. Well, they don't. T- the clock doesn't fall back now until November. Wasn't it a point in time when it 
It used to happen in October. It did, the last week of October. So who the hell idea was it to move it to November? I ain't know it moved in November. Yeah, it's no, the first in weekend in November. That's kind of far. Yeah. But I, I guess th- it's because, though, remember we lost that hour Look. one year? What, because the earth stopped revolving, it was slowed down and some yeah, shit will speed it up. Everybody so, just start running in one damn direction. We and can because catch it's, back still, it's still getting dark at around about 6.30-ish. Lord. And it used to start getting dark at 5.30-ish. Shit, my ass come home from work is dark. I wake up to go to work is damn dark. You used to be able to, but in the past it used to be getting dark when the time went back. Because it's fall. Right. Back, fall back. Mm-hmm. It used to get dark at 4.30. It's still too late right now. It's still not completely dark until like 6.30, almost 7 o'clock. Gotcha. So we lost that hour. Well, folks, it has come that t- to that time. That hour goes pretty fast. It does. But I have enjoyed it. Hopefully you all have. And thank you all for uh, joining us. Please do join us next week. Tell a friend. Have that friend tell a friend. Shit, just tell every damn body. Put it out on Facebook. <laughs> but look, I'm going to say this. All my friends that I have on Facebook, please go and like our page. It's Let's Talk. Please tune in every Wednesday from 8 to 9 on BeExposedRadio.com. Dot com. And follow them on Twitter. Let's Talk underscore BXR. As in BX Radio. Because I don't want to have to put y'all out on blast. Oh, you know, that's when you separate your, your real friends from your so-called so-ass friends. But anyway, thank you all for joining me uh, this evening, and I will see you next week. Have a blessed week, and uh, let's talk real talk.